So we're getting our boat ready for the initial launch. We're at Lake Nankamixon in Pennsylvania. It's a windy day. Not that windy. Does your boat have a name? No, no, no. <laughs> Voice off camera. The boat does not have a name. I've struggled for a very long time to come up with a name, and I have not succeeded, nor has anybody else for that matter succeeded in coming up with a name. This is no name. We are launching no name today. Yes. I, was, I don't know what you were just looking at. Maybe he was like pointing to the tree over there. Such a mean person. Kind of deep in the water, don't you think? <laughs> Fixing the sail now. Yes, for maximum performance. Yes, yes. And Matthew's at the tiller. I am. Because I'm passing no it. And Avery's giving instructions to Matthew at the tiller. No, I'm actually dead. No one gives instructions to me. And I'm holding the jib, which is a very important okay. job. Matthew, hurry. Fine. Quick, please. Fill us while we're not in a moment of crisis. Anyway. I'm just filming the water. Yeah. Filming the water. Because that's the part that's moving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. So this is Paul and his boat. And what did you just say? I uh, love my boat. Yeah. This is the greatest He's eating boat an empanada. Because that's what captains eat. It's traditional nautical food, empanadas. What? Yeah. Well, I know and, um, a little bit captains, when they're done being captain-y, like to go in their cabins and lay down and eat empanadas. So this is what the cabin looks like. I can't see what I'm doing, but there's a couple portholes. And there's some more portholes. So I'm laying down because I just had to save the boat from disaster. <laughs> We've had so many near disasters. It's remarkable that we survived this long. It is, just one unlike like Naka Mixon. One of the stays came out of the turnbuckle and I don't know why, but I was able to put it back in while under sail in the teeth of a booming gale. And, um, but I, I nearly lost all hands, but it was my skill as, as a captain that saved us all. I think it was actually your three able-bodied seamen and women that were helping you that made that possible. My loyal crew. Your loyal crew. For example, <laughs> here's one of the loyal crew sailing joking around with his brother he has his hand on the rudder so that his father can lay in the cabin and eat empanadas and there is the other able-bodied seaman the best he's the best hi oh oh here we go now you can explain again because well, i didn't have the camera rolling i had the sail on top of my head because we lowered it <laughs> to fix the stay so that the mast went snap in half because it was almost going to break. That would have been um, so now we just have the jib running and I told my crew to keep the jib 
and not put up the mainsail because we need a break. We've mm -hmm. just been mm -hmm. struggling all mm -hmm. afternoon mm -hmm. to stay alive. We're getting ripped apart. And, um, mm -hmm. and so, but apparently the wind is so strong that even with just a jib on this little boat, we we're like healing over. So is that what keeling over means? No, healing over. Oh, keeling over is when you die <laughs> after you ke after you heal over. Okay. When you heal over too many times, you eventually keel over. Oh, okay, I thought maybe, maybe the, the, the you know it came from that. And then I guess the keel over, over is when the keel goes up, right? Like yeah. you're keeling over, right? You're keeling over. It's a nautical term when I one think keels so, over. Yeah. How yeah. long? I, I this is so exciting. Going anymore. I'm learning so much. <laughs> what's, what's the problem, Matthew? You're a little bit like we're in the middle. We're not really going. We're there. not really moving. Okay. Well, Daddy's having an empanada. Maybe sure. when he's done, we can go somewhere. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Here he comes. Here I come. Where are we? Yeah, we're doing all right. Yeah.